On December 13th, Russia launched a ballistic missile attack on Kyiv. The attack was mainly carried out through S-400 batteries, originating from the Bryansk region of the Russian Federation, near the settlement of Klintsi, which is about 50 kilometers or 30 miles from the border. Viewers may note that while S-400 is designed to engage aerial threats, Russia has modified the missiles to strike ground targets as well. This information comes courtesy of the Research Center for Trophy and Prospective Weapons and Military Equipment affiliated with the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The center detailed that the guided missiles of the S-400 complex covered the necessary distance in less than two minutes. Still, the Ukrainian Air Defense Forces succeeded in detecting and eliminating the incoming threats. In this video, Defense Updates reports on US-made Patriot knocking down Russian S-400 missiles in Ukraine. Let's get into the details. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The S-400 Triumph air defense weapon system was developed by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau in the 1990s as an upgrade to the S-300 family. It's been in service with the Russian Armed Forces since 2007. It's designed to defend against aircraft, including fifth-generation stealth fighters, bombers, AWACS, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. It's considered one of the most potent air defense systems in the world. The system is responsible for several hits on Ukrainian aerial assets, including fighter jets. S-400 Air Defense is a package consisting of radar, a command and control center, and interceptor missiles. It can track hundreds of targets at a time, engage up to 36 targets simultaneously, and launch 72 missiles parallelly. S-400 uses multiple radars depending on threat perception. The primary one is either the 91 NSE Big Bird Acquisition and Battle Management Radar or 92 NSE Gravestone Multi-Mode Engagement Radar. S-400 deploys multiple missiles to cover its strike envelope. For example, it has 9M-96E missile with a short range of 40 kilometers or 25 miles and a speed of Mach 2.6. 9M-96E-2 missile with a medium range of 120 kilometers or 75 miles and a speed of Mach 3. 48N6 missile with a long range of 250 kilometers or 155 miles and a speed of up to Mach 14. And 40N6 missile with a very long range of 450 kilometers or 280 miles and a speed of up to Mach 14. The long range means that even when placed considerable distance away from the border inside the Russian territory, it can reach out well into the Ukrainian side. The use of the S-400 missiles for ground attack roles is mainly due to the low supply of surface-to-surface -surface missiles like Iskander. The American Patriot Air Defense System is an all-weather, tactical, mobile air defense system. The system has the ability to engage against crews and ballistic missiles drones, as well as different types of aircraft. The Patriot Pac-3 uses a passive, electronically scanned array radar. The radar has a range of more than 160 kilometers or 100 miles. Patriot Pac-3 introduced the new MIM-104F missile, which is also referred to as the Pac-3 missile. For aerial targets like aircraft and drones, the Patriot MIM-104F missile 
has an engagement range of 160 kilometers or 100 miles, whereas for ballistic missiles, it has a range of about 30 kilometers or around 18 and a half miles. The Patriot missile uses a Track Via missile or TVM guidance system. After the missile is launched, mid-course guidance is provided by the Mobile Control Center, which uses the radar to direct the missile toward the target. In the terminal phase, the KA band, active radar seeker, in the nose of the Pac-3 missile acquires the inbound threat. At a cost of approximately $1.1 billion, the Patriot represents the most expensive individual weapon system that has been provided to Ukraine. Despite Kyiv's appeals to the Pentagon for the weapons since the beginning of the war, the first Patriot systems were sent much later. For over a year, Ukraine lacked an air defense system capable of countering Russia's aerial assets. Patriot has proved its mettle in Ukraine on several occasions. On May 13, its use resulted in significant losses for Russian aerospace forces. On that day, three Russian Mi-6 helicopters, one Su-34 fighter bomber, and one Su-35S fighter were reportedly lost with no survivors. The December 13 incident again proves its effectiveness, but there's a catch economics of engagement. The estimated cost of Pac-3 Interceptor is around $3 million. Therefore, by using two interceptors per target, deflecting an attack with 10 S-400 missiles could have cost up to $60 million on December 13. In contrast, the price tag of the GMLRS or Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System for HIMARS has a range of 46 miles or 75 kilometers is around $225,000. A package of 12 would cost about $2.7 million. This amount could be potentially sufficient to eradicate an entire S-400 air defense system that's operating from a location close to the border, like in this case. The striking finding is that obliterating an S-400 system with a salvo from HIMARS is 20 to 25 times more cost-effective than intercepting the missiles it launches. Given the fact that financial aid and military supplies are drying up for Ukraine, Kyiv needs to rethink its strategy. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.